Hi everybody, Cindy here. I am back to share some embellishments that I've made. I wanted to make some flower pot embellishments for like spring tags, birthday tags, Mother's Day tags, and I've been doing, I've been making a ton of them actually. And I did these in yellow. Hopefully I'm in camera here. And then I did blue. Just show you two. And then I did some in pink. I'll show you those two. And the pink say just for you because these are going to go on tags. The yellow say celebrate today and the blue say it's your day. The sentiments that I used came from a stamp set called Friendship Jar and this is from Paper Tray Ink. I'm not sure if they still sell this but I will definitely post a link below so in case you're interested you can head over and check them out. And for the grass on the bottom of my flower pots, I had purchased these three grass dies on Amazon. And I used the thinnest one to cut out the grass. So I'll show you how I used that then. But I just wanted to show you like some of the materials I used. And the great thing about this is you can use your scraps it, um, to make these. And then the flower punches, let me get those out. I used a medium and a small flower punch. And these came from the Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby. And then I'll show you how, what I did to punch out the flowers. Let me see if I have, I think I still need to punch out two in white. I tried to film this earlier and I had um, the wrong lamp on and there was such a glare from the side that I thought, you know what, I have to redo it. So I didn't punch out my three white centers. So now we should be ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna be making the yellow one right now. So you used craft card stock. It's two inches by one and a half. And you're either gonna line it up on your scoreboard or your paper trimmer. I'm just lining it up in my paper trimmer. And let me see if I have my little scoring tool, yep. And you're going to line it up at the half inch mark and you're going to score. Okay, so two inches by one and a half, score at a half an inch. And this here is going to be, when you fold it, it's going to be this part of your flower pot, the rim. Okay. But before we go any further, what you're gonna do, let me see if I can get my camera a little bit closer so y'all can see what I'm doing here. Okay. So we're gonna take the score line and we're gonna line it up on our cut line, just like that. Score line hitting the cut line. Now we're gonna take the right hand corner Go past our cut line to the quarter inch mark, which on mine is the first black line past the cut line. So here's my cut line. My right hand corner is hitting the quarter of an inch mark and my score line is right on my cut line. And you're gonna cut. And as you can see, it cuts the angle of your flower pot. So then all you're going to do is flip it around and do the same exact thing. Your score line 
on your cut line, right hand corner, goes past that cut line to the quarter inch mark. make your cut. Okay, so now we have our flower pot. And I went ahead and I embossed mine. You probably see it better with this little um, flower pot. I embossed mine with a basket weave embossing folder. Not everybody has the same materials. I'm just giving you guys some ideas to make your own flower pots. You could use polka dot. You don't have to emboss it at all. Completely up to you. Let me just back up my camera here. So this is my embossing folder and I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to line it up at the edge where this folds and I'm going to close it. Okay, so I'm not embossing the rim of the pot. I'm just embossing the bottom of my flower pot. So let me get out my cuddle bug here and make sure that's centered. And I'm just going to pop that in and emboss it. Okay, so now we have the embossing down here, and this is going to be our rim that we're eventually going to fold down and glue. But before we do that, for this part, you could use scrap paper, any kind of ribbon you have. Sorry, I dropped my rag. Any kind of ribbon you have. Um, for the pink ones here, I just used some gingham ribbon that I had in my stash for the pink and white but for the yellow and the blue I have this uh, self-adhesive ribbon tape and I am I got this a long time ago at Joann's so I'm not sure if they still sell it but I had it in green and blue and of course yellow so what I did was I cut up the center and we're just gonna peel it back there's this like plastic stuff on here just gonna peel it back now this is the front and this is gonna fold down so I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna try and get that yellow ribbon tape you could probably use washi tape for this too if you wanted entirely up to you and I'm going to let a little bit hang over on each side and cut and then because this already has adhesive on the back I just have to fold it over and then when we fold it down it'll have that nice ribbon trim so I'm going to go ahead add some hot glue and fold that down. Okay, so for this part, I'm gonna try to get you a little bit closer because I know my camera is kind of far away. There we go. And um, we're gonna put our flowers together. So for the yellow flower pot, I cut two out with the medium punch in green, that's going to be our leaves, and then I cut three of each. So I cut three of the light yellow and three of the dark yellow. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but on these flowers, the lighter yellow is on top of the two on the edge, and then in the center, the darker yellow is on the top. So we're going to just flip these around so I don't get them confused. And I'm going to add 
just a dot of glue in the centers. Get my tweezer out. And I'm going to layer this one on top of this one, stacking the petals, the lighter one on top of the dark, and the lighter one over here on top of the dark. And then for the mini punch, I just punched out the three white. Those are going to be our centers. So I'm just going to add another little dot of glue. And stack the petals again. So the white petals are in the center of the others. Got to let go with the tweezer. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna look like that when they're finished. Okay, so for the centers, I just used some of these um, pearls and they have an adhesive tape on them. So what I did was I just took my scissor and I went in because the adhesive strip I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up it goes along the whole entire length so that you could pick up the entire line if you wanted to I just wanted individual pearls so I went in and I cut on either side of the pearls just made a little cut so that I could get an individual pearl off the sheet. I'm going to grab my other pair of tweezers. Oop, pull one off. And it already has that adhesive tape on the back. So I'm just going to pop them right in the center here. And you guys, we you know, I know we don't have the same punches or the same materials. This is just giving you guys an idea of what I did. Okay, so these flowers are made. Now we gotta add the leaves. So for the two outside ones, I added three. The top here I added three, and the bottom I just added two. So I went in with my scissor, and I cut three off for this side. three for the top on this one, two for the bottom, and then I needed three more for the other flower. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little glue and layer those right in the back. This one's going to go on the top, and the two individual ones are going to go on the bottom. And then this one's going to go right here. Okay, so I'm going to take my flower pot. I'm going to add a nice sized dot on each side of the flower pot. Lay my flower on, but I don't want to cover up this nice ribbon tape. So I'm going to leave a little bit showing. And I'm going to put my two side flowers on first. And then flip this over. The two petal, uh, the two leaves, those are on the bottom. So I'm going to add on the side here, side here, and on the bottom only because the top part's going to hang off the flower pot and I don't want all that excess glue. Now, when I put this one on, I don't put it straight across, I lift it up a little bit. 
so it's a little bit higher than the other three flowers. Now, for the grass. The grass on the bottom was just a little too thick for me. So what I did was I went in and I just trimmed some of that off with my scissor to make it a little bit thinner. Flip it around. Add some glue. I really wanna try my hand on a flower pot greeting card. So when I figure out measurements and how I'm going to decorate it and stuff, I will definitely come back and share that with you guys. And flower pot greeting cards have been around for a very long time. Okay, so that's glued on. I'm just going to flip it around and trim off the excess. Okay, and then all that's left is for me to stamp out a sentiment. If I want to put them on, they look really cute without a sentiment. It's entirely up to you, you know, what you're going to use yours for. But these would be fantastic if you have spring swaps that you're doing right now you could add these in, you know make a couple up and put them in a bag or a box a gift box and add them into your swaps or send them in a gift or put them on your projects so if you guys have any questions let me know thank you so much for watching you take care and happy crafting